<laughs> What's happening is because I spend 45 minutes daily on the treadmill, around 400 to 500 calories are burned there. I walk for an hour every day and another 400 to 500 calories are burned there. Additionally, I do cycling for an hour and another 400 to 500 calories are burned there. So where is all this burned fat going because fat loss isn't happening? Welcome to Weight Sculpt Official's Weight Loss Tip Show and I am Olivia. Yes, friends, this is a very common and curious question question, where does the burned fat go? Because people start sharing their own theories. Some say that the sweat is the fat burning and leaving the body. But if that were true, since we live in India where temperatures reach 40 to 50 degrees Celsius, just stand outside in the sun and you'll start sweating. Does that mean fat is burning and leaving the body? No, that's not the case. Some say fat melts like butter and exits the body. That's also false. All these myths circulating have no connection with reality, but our focus gets fixated on them. If someone says, if you're not sweating, you're not losing fat, we start obsessing over sweating, which can harm our health. So in today's episode, I'll explain scientifically how fat is burned and where it goes, so your efforts are directed correctly. Pay attention, as it's a bit technical, but you'll understand. Suppose your body has 10 kilograms of excess fat stored in fat cells. If we want fat loss, fat must be released from these fat cells. How? Suppose your body's total requirement is 2,000 calories. This requirement comes from three things. 1. Basal metabolic rate, BMR, energy used for internal bodily functions. 2. Physical activity, daily movements and work. 3. Exercise, additional workouts. If you eat exactly 2,000 calories, your body won't use stored fat because it has no reason to. It's getting enough energy. To burn stored fat, you must create a caloric deficit. For example, if you eat 1,500 calories instead of 2,000, you create a 500 calorie deficit. Now fat is released from fat cells into the bloodstream, but it doesn't just disappear. It needs to enter muscle cells to be burned for energy. Oxygen is required for this process, fat oxidation. If fat doesn't reach muscle cells, it goes back into storage. No fat loss happens. So, the key steps are 1. Caloric deficit. Eat less than you burn. 2. Physical activity. Ensure fat enters muscle cells. 3. Oxygen. Proper breathing helps burn fat efficiently. When fat burns, two things happen. 1. Energy used for movement and bodily functions. 2. Carbon dioxide, CO2, exhaled through breathing. 84% of burned fat leaves this way. Sweating is not once fat loss. Final tip. Stop obsessing over sweating. Focus on caloric deficit, movement, and proper breathing for real fat loss.